Hi great of student so in today's video we are going to do paper 1 which we are going to do ordinary capital uh, ratios as well as cash flow statement so let's start with our question paper that we have they said 2.1 we need to prepare ordinary capital note on 28 february 2021 okay so they give us information number a uh, share issued new shares share buyback and they didn't give us how many share at the end okay if you check information number c they give us opening balance and closing balance so we can start with these balances they give us opening balance if you check opening balance it was amount of six million four hundred thousand okay then we also know that a uh, on one March, under information number A, there was 800 issued share. Okay, and they also give us amount for the year end, which is a balance. Uh, the balance they give us 7,395,000. Okay, and we know that we also have to record issued share. And we also have to record share buyback. Okay. Now we know that issued share, it was 100 shares. And share buyback, we also know that uh, they buy back a share of 30,000. Now, which means that it can be simple for us to know that closing balance, it was how many share? Because we said 800 plus 100 minus 30 which is going to give us how many share uh, 870,000 shares at the end okay now we need to know that uh, are we still going to calculate average can is or is given okay let's read on one general word under information number a they said 30,000 share repurchase at 120 more than average share price they didn't give us average. They give us 120 that we need to record under retained income note. Okay. So how are we going to do it? We need to check whether they buy back share before issued share or after. If you check, they buy back shares after they issued 100,000 shares, which means that our average price must be calculated by the balance at the end because they buy back share afterward after new issued okay which means that our average price is here so how are we going to calculate average price seven million three hundred and ninety five thousand divided by eight seven thousand shares which which is going to give us how much it's going to give us uh eight rand fifty our average price is 850 which means that we just have to multiply 80,000 by 850 then it's gonna give us amount of 255,000 okay now we also have to calculate issued share how are we going to do it as a balancing figure once they give you opening and closing know that either this one or this one is going to be balancing figure they can't give you all of them at the same time how to calculate this very simple you start from down you take this one whatever that is negative you add whatever that is positive you subtract you're gonna get this one this one plus this one minus this one is going to give you the balancing figure of one million two hundred and fifty thousand then you will be done with this note and you will get only six six marks so this note was very very simple and straightforward in this question paper okay so calculate the financial indicator on 28 February 2021. Two marks, operation, expense, on sales. So profitability ratio, guys, they are very simple. Once they said what, what, on what, what, they are saying what, what, divide by what, what. In this case, operation, expense, divide by sales, and you multiply by 100. Okay, so if you check under our income statement, uh, we have all those balance. We're going to say... 
which is operating expense divided by sales amount of 7,293,000 and we multiply by 100, it's going to give us 20%. Then you will be done. It's too much only for this one. Okay. Then another one, we have to calculate dividends per share. Dividends per share. Okay. When Once they said dividends per share, we have to get something in cents. Okay, let's check this information. Is it given dividends per share? They only give us final dividends of 22 cents. For interim, we need to calculate it. Very simple. We already have 22 cents of final dividends, which means that we just have to calculate interim, then we add it with this one. Final interim dividends, they said 162,000 was paid. 162,000. Okay, let me change the marker. 162,000, which we have to divide it by what? How many shares that was issued under interim? We paid in how many shareholders for interim? This interim uh, was issued on 30 September. It's before they repurchase another share on 1 January the following year. Which means that the shares that the shareholders that were available is on one March 800 as well as on 30 June 900,000 shares they were there when they issued this uh, interim which means that we have to divide by 900,000 then it will give you uh, it's gonna give you 18 cent 18 cent you can also prove this 22 cent by saying a final dividend that was paid, check shareholder for dividends of 191,000 of, uh, of this year 2021. On number C, if you said 191,400 and you divide by how many shares paid on this final dividend? Okay, let's check the question paper. They say a final dividend was declared on the last day, which means that shares that was there is 800 and 70 which means that if you take this and you say divide by 870 it's gonna give you this 22 cent 22 cent then if you add all these it's going to give you a amount of 40 cent this is the final answer then you will be done very simple four marks for that okay then the next question they said that we have to do average shareholders equity. Okay, average shareholders equity, guys, you know that we take net profit after tax and we divide, we divide by average shareholders equity. Net profit after tax in this case, you have to take, we have a net profit before tax of 1,350,000. You subtract net profit after tax because they didn't give us what? Okay, apology, guys. We only take net profit after tax. I was calculating income tax. Apology for that. Okay. Our net profit after tax is 985,500. This is our net profit after, after tax. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Now we need to divide by what? By average, when we said average, you add two something and you divide by two. Okay, if you check our ordinary shares equity at the beginning, it was six million four hundred and fifty thousand plus eight hundred and thirty-eight thousand one hundred at the end. Then you add these two together and you divide by by two. Don't do all of them at the same time. Get answer first here. So that you can take this one, divide by this answer that you got. Okay. Then after that, you multiply by 100. Then you will get a 13,6 percentage. This is how you should do it. Okay. Now, let's go to our cash flow statement. Okay. Cash flow statement, guys, we were not required to calculate everything. We were required to calculate this three part and this three part okay and the last part okay let's start with a uh, transaction paid 
interest paid were not required in this case because it's not even there. There's no any information related to it. Okay, that's why they give us the final answer there. Okay, Inter uh, interest paid is calculated, taxation paid. Yes, we have to calculate taxation paid and dividends paid. Okay, taxation paid, the first amount that we need to start with is a um, tax amount from income statement. Okay, tax amount from income statement, they didn't give us, they give us net profit before tax and after tax. That's what I was calculating when I, 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 I we were doing this one. I thought maybe it's that, it's that one, okay? Just forgot. All right, now we have to calculate that uh, taxation paid. How do we calculate it? We just need a uh, amount of uh, 1,350,000 of before tax and you subtract a uh, amount of 985,000. Then it will give you tax action uh, amount of uh, 364. Thousand five hundred. Yes. Okay. Now let's proceed. Let's check if we have opening balance and closing balance. Yes, we have them. Under our closing opening balance, let's start with opening balance. The balance for last year, it was liability because it's credit. Once it's liability because it's credit, simple means that uh, this amount is going to be whether inflow or outflow. Sign is very important because it's going to determine your answer. Okay. We were owing them at the end of the last year. When we owe them at the end of last year, we didn't pay them last year. We're going to pay them this year. Simply means that this year is going to be outflow of 35,900. Okay. Then at the end of this year, they owe us, but did they refund us this year? No, they're going to refund us next year, which means that it's still outflow. It's still outside this money. 29,100. They can't refund us because, remember, we're calculating this on the last day of reporting period. They can't pay us on the same day. They're going to pay us back next year. It's refundable because it's debit. Okay, if you do this calculation, then you will get amount of outflow. Uh, of 429,500 just like that okay dividends paid uh, dividends paid we have amount uh, of interim dividends that was paid remember dividends paid we only focus on last year shareholder for dividends and the in term for this year only because that's the only amount that have been paid this year final dividends of this year is going to paid next year okay if you check we have amount of 162,000 of interim for this year and if you check the balance of last year of interim your shareholder for dividends you will find that is amount of 115,300 under number c Shareholder for dividends of last year has been paid this year. For this year, it's going to be paid next year. Simple. So if you add this, it's going to give you outflow of 277,300. Then it, you will be done with this part. Okay. Now, cash flow from investing activity. We don't have anything related to notes number three. That's why they give us the balance. Okay. Cash flow from financing activity. Number one, we have share issued. If you still remember, share issued, we calculated it when we were doing what? Ordinary share capital, which we got amount of 1,250,000 as a balancing figure. Okay. Share repurchase. They repurchase how many shares? 30,000. And remember, out of this 30,000, guys, how much did we pay in total? We paid amount of, remember, we have that 120 of what? Of loss. And also, we also have what? Our average price of 850. You add them together because under cash flow, you bring total. This is for ordinary share capital. 
this is for retaining income for cash flow you add all of them then it will give you amount of 970 and if you add them together uh, it's going to be ad flow because we buy back shares and we have to pay it's gonna give you 291,000 okay done now let's take uh, the issue of loan if you take loan in 2020 it was 2 million 200,000 and is go down to 1 million 650 loan has decreased what's the reason of loan to decrease is to pay back your debt cannot decrease if you didn't pay back you pay back which means that is outflow it's outflow because you pay back but if it's increase you go and borrow again okay how do we get this amount you just take 2 million 200 and 200,000 and you subtract 1 million 650,000 then you will get a um, amount of 550,000 very simple okay now let's go to this last part uh, but we also have to calculate total here is going to be 4 or 9 thousand you just take this one and you subtract these two it's gonna give you the total there okay if you take all the calculation from top to bottom you are adding this part and this part and this part they gonna give you amount of net remember this one is outflow this is inflow this is inflow it's gonna give you uh 269,000. now we have to calculate opening and closing okay for opening uh if we check our information we have a petty cash of 20,000. 20,000. we also have to check if we have bank overdraft in this case we have bank overdraft of minus 95 1200 if you have bank over draft you have to subtract then it will give you negative we have a negative amount of 75200 then from there you just take this one minus this one because in this case they didn't give us amount of petty cash at the end they give us like a question mark which means that you take this one minus this one then it will give you uh, amount of 193,800. That's how you do it. So, if you learn something in this video, guys, please make sure that you subscribe. Just appreciate us by subscribing so that you can learn uh, other videos. So, for those who still want to join extra class, they are still available. It's only 60 rand for my people, only 60 rand per month. So, make sure that you also join extra classes so that you will be able to answer any and you will be able to ask any question on whatsapp group as well so i'm gonna see you on the next upload